What did the president know, and when did he know it? Well, I'm not a crook. I've burned everything I've got. There's the president waving goodbye, and you hear the applause. Good morning. Welcome to the Hari Bumi podcast. Today is Tuesday, the 21st of May. I hope yesterday was a good day for you. hope you have a great day today. Keep your family close. I was thinking <clears throat> about the upcoming presidential election, and we take a look at what the big difference is between Biden and Trump. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm just going to say something that rang true the last time Donald Trump was in office. What the most important thing is you appoint people to run departments that are competent. And under the Trump administration, things boomed. Why? Donald Trump appointed many businessmen, many men who accomplished a lot in the private sector, knew how to run a business, knew how to accept responsibility, knew how to delegate, set goals. He had tremendous people in the cabinet, tremendous representatives around the world. Competent people in positions of power, decision makers, made this country run great. You have a tremendous country, a tremendous workforce, have a president that sets the goals, urges people to do better than they ever did before. It's amazing what can happen when you have competent people running the government. Joe Biden, he's appointed political hacks. He's appointed people whose sole purpose is to protect Joe Biden so that they can continue having a job. That's what we've got running this country now. And I'll give you an example going back to the baby boomer days. <clears throat> Richard Nixon <clears throat> hated. We had the Watergate scandal where a bunch of hacks arranged by Nixon's cohorts broke into the Democratic National Headquarters and try to steal papers and records that the Democratic National Committee had that they might use against Richard Nixon in the upcoming election. Richard Nixon, I don't know if he orchestrated everything, but he knew what was going on. And during the hearings of Watergate, John Dean revealed that there were tapes, that Nixon taped everything in the White House. So they were being subpoenaed for the tapes to find out what Richard Nixon knew and what he said. There was a solicitor general going back from the days of John F. Kennedy in office, and Nixon ordered the solicitor general to squash the subpoena to get those tapes to Congress. Archibald Cox was his name, and he refused to do that. He had some character. Elliot Richardson was the Attorney General of the United States. Richard Nixon ordered Elliot Richardson to order Archibald Cox to squash the subpoenas. If he wouldn't do that, then to squash the subpoenas himself. Elliot Richardson refused to do that. Richard Nixon filed them, fired them all. That was known as a Saturday night or Sunday night massacre. People with moral character were asked to do something either illegal, immoral, or both, and took their professional integrity and their own moral character, stood first, held fast, and eventually Richard Nixon was gone. Imagine if Joe Biden went to Merrick Garland and said, listen, I want you to drag this thing out with Hunter Biden till kingdom come. I do not want him indicted. I want this thing going to bed. I want him protected. I want everybody who comes after me prosecuted. I want everything said bad about me put to bed. Protect me. Do you think Merrick Garland would say, Mr. President, I can't do that? It's illegal? It's immoral? No. 
That's exactly what Merrick Garland is doing. Protecting Hunter Biden. You and I would be in the who's God by now. Going after Donald Trump for one reason and one reason only. He's running against Joe Biden. There's no moral character there. Imagine. Defying Joe Biden. Maybe some truth would come out to what a, a, a monarchy he's got, what a corrupt family he has from the days of early politics in Delaware to right now. At least back then, you saw a little glimmer of hope with morality in government, especially in the Department of Justice and Law and Order. Watch the Howdy Boomy podcast on the Howdy Boomy channel on the YouTube channel. The Howdy Boomy Show. Truth, justice, the American way. God bless you. God bless the United States of America.